Well, if all gay people go to hell, it's fun down there. Honestly, it's Lil a Nas, circuit party. we're going. <laughs> if all gay people go to hell, like, it's beautiful. It's a good title for something. All gay people go to hell. Like, all dogs go to heaven. <laughs> Can't be much worse than Earth right now. The planet's already on fire. A global boiling. <laughs> Let's take it underground. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> that is so nice. That is such a funny gift. Yes. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. You're so sweet. So. I just like you know, it's like it's, my love it's not even what they say about you isn't even true. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, this has been lovely. <laughs> no, thank you so much. This is so sweet. You're welcome. Wow. How long are you here for? I'm here um till the 19th. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'm here for like 10 days, which okay. I usually come like I leave really short, so I yeah. gave myself some extra time to enjoy. Yeah. I was supposed to do it last time, but I just got back from Montana. I was there yeah. for a couple weeks. What made you like want to go to Montana? Um, I don't. Are you near like Jackson Hole or something? That's or? Wyoming. I don't oh, go sorry, there. Sorry, sorry. I don't. There's. But there's, that, that's there's so another person beautiful. that lives in Wyoming that scares me. So oh, okay. I stay in Montana. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I uh, had like a mental breakdown during right before COVID. Uh, I had a like very big public breakup. So I yeah, I've always loved Montana, and I love. Isn't that so cute? That is like adorable, guys. The bandana, the bandana so not cute. the not the breakup or the yeah. <laughs> breakdown. Um, oh, no, that, that too. That too. <laughs> yeah. So I was just felt like super lost, and I honestly like, I just was. I need to get out of LA a little bit. So I, I got yeah. this really cute cabin, which is a fixer upper. And I went out there for a couple of months. I worked on it. So now I'm there for like, I'll go there every couple of weeks, like every other month when I can. And you have like a great aesthetic. I love like your all green living room. Yes. It's like very nature. Well, nature. you know, when in hospitals, sometimes they paint um, patients rooms green after they go through like surgery because it's very calming and soothing yeah. so i feel like i'm That's... at a mental ward because it's very like calming and soothing. <laughs> <laughs> was that poem the yellow wallpaper yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah, like yeah. that's you yeah no that's so cool i feel like that's probably so peaceful and like yeah. lovely out it's there it's nice yeah it's it's just like great to be outdoors and then the juxtaposition of coming back to la where everybody is like insane <laughs> but I have a lot of friends there and it's nice to just like go and hike and like work from there when I can. It's it's yeah. it's good. It's a, nothing like glamorous. It's just like a small little cute cabin. Do you ever think about moving back to Boston? I would never. never. No. no. Boston is Boston is cute, but the winters are in, it's just like New York. The winters are in treacherous. Really? It's too much. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like York, they're, they're even crazy. worse in Boston. Yeah, because we're sur well, New York's surrounded by water too. Kinda. Yeah. Well, whatever. I don't know. Boston is just like finance bros and college students and i'm like it was great for college because you're always around yeah college people your There's age boston but calling yes i went right. one year oh you did yeah i have a friend who grew up in boston and then she had like a house on cape cod oh so that's rich yes i grew up not rich so <laughs> <laughs> i love that no i had a friend on martha's vineyard and i go occasionally it's it's beautiful yeah but i like i mean i've never really like lived there or like stayed yeah. there for more than a few days yeah. who is I that like friend is it's not jen mika is that no i love her i, I love I'm like i love when you guys are together and i i love your content together so oh my god funny. no we actually did an apartment swap so she's at my apartment <gasps> and i'm here i followed her but she didn't follow me back oh really oh, you know what text her right now <laughs> no i'm kidding she has no idea who I'll i am tell her but no. she's such a good dancer i'm like how do I people know. move like that? She's a professional dancer and she's a star. Like and we, you guys have been together for so long, like yeah, friends. We're dating. Yeah, actually, we've been dating <laughs> yeah. for years oh, now. You're straight. <laughs> okay. Well, I give straight. Straight and afraid. Straight and afraid. Yeah. 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 You give straight. I give. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whenever I look back at me as a kid, and I was like, me pretending to be straight was like so gay. Yeah. Like <laughs> I always just said I'm not gay. I'm not gay to everything. Yeah. And I was so gay. Yeah. Like. I, I was, I, I was flaming. I was a swimmer in high school, yeah. and I did like photography club and mm. Italian. Club. Is swim club gay? Is swim swim swim, swim club swim club? <laughs> is oh my god! Is very gay coded to me. Is like, it? Well, I guess you're like in little speedos, speedos. But and... I also was not cute until like like a year or two ago. So I went through life like <laughs> I'm kidding. No, for real. Okay. I was five foot four until sophomore year of high school. And then I grew up slowly. I got to like 5'10", but I was pudgy. So I got bullied. I was the only gay kid in my school. Really? Yeah. And then senior year, I kind of got popular because I grew up and I became like, I was like a string bean and I was like super active in sports and did well. But and the yeah, filler. high school is rough. And, and the, the filler. <laughs> Thank you. We were, address the we, were, we were joking about this earlier. Yeah. I was Googling, I was Googling you. And then I went on, I got on this like feed about like like whether you had plastic surgery or yeah. not. And then I was like, I but I saw the video you posted where like you in high school looked exactly like you now. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, that is so funny that people are online like speculating. Yeah. I don't know. It made I don't me know. Laugh. People are so like I feel like the It's because you're pretty. You have like Instagram face. Oh my god, thank you. Yeah. I people always say like, oh, you're you're so much cuter online. I'm like, well, that's my job. 
<laughs> that's my job. Like, you hello. look the same. Thank you. I, I don't think that. Yeah. It's a body dysmorphia. Like one day you'll be having like a great day and like feel like you look good. And then second, like another day you're like, oh no. Yeah. I try not to look at myself. What have you gotten done? Um, hmm. I don't May know. May I suggest a little Restylane? <laughs> <laughs> that's old Wendy Williams and Omarosa. Um, did you ever see that interview? No. It was Wendy Williams and Omarosa. And she's like, no, I haven't gotten anything done. But may I suggest a little Restylane because you're cracking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did see that. It was so funny. What a read. Yeah. That no, your skin knew is how glowing. To Thanks. Yeah, Gorgeous. I just, I like, I've been really into facials and oh. skincare. Oh. Okay. But like, I'm not. I'm not like I'm a, not. I haven't had anything done yet. Yeah. When the time comes. One day. Yeah. When I, I just really, I think it's so funny when women have like, not women, or just anyone gets like so much Botox that they can't like emote. Yes. I'm that is like with that. really crazy. That is like so funny. Or when the lips get so big that they can be used as a flotation device. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And the lashes. I love, like it's so deranged and like detached. I also almost feel like they want that. Like if you're a rich person, you like kind of want that look like to show that you can afford to get work mm -hmm. done. Like it's like an aesthetic, like yeah. yanked and yeah. yoinked. Yeah. Like I kind of feel like Arianka. Arianka. Yeah. Okay. Not the with the bob. I ordered a bob because of you. <laughs> I literally, I, I think I ordered a nicer one because I saw yours. It was like maybe like fourteen eighty seven. Oh, I don't. ordered a thirty two dollar one. I'm like, no, mine was thirty two dollars. And I was oh, like, are we so, gonna twin with the bob? Yeah, is it? That's why it has so much movement. I should have brought it today. <laughs> I know. I wanted to film like something with the they're, bowl filter. They're so funny. They're so. The gorgeous. bob is like having a moment. Like, yeah. I almost had a bob with my old hair. I just shaved my head. Well, I just I, got a, I, like, no. I was up to date with the hair journey. I know. I'm like really happy it's gone. No, it looks good. Yeah, like, you can. You always have great hair. Thank you. It's like always Sweet. sitting perfectly. She's curled. Yeah. yeah I don't do, do you do it every morning? No, honestly, I don't really do. It's the product I use the night before. It's like a curler, and it just like keeps it. That's so nice. Chill. Yeah. My hair is constantly mad at me. Yeah, well, I would be too if I were your hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait, okay. We're getting off track. Yeah. Well, I want to. I did want to ask, like, what type of kid were you like as a kid? I was a. I was a really sensitive kid. I grew oh, up really? with um, older brothers, and mm -hmm. I was like, I loved to bake. I had. I grew up in a really like tumultuous home, and my father was an alcoholic. Again, I'm super comfortable opening about whatever because mm -hmm. I he was an alcoholic and abusive to my mom and my brothers. And I feel like my home was very unstable. Like I was always like fight or flight mode. Yeah. And one thing my mom taught me was just like um, like the basics, like how to do your laundry, how to like make your room and like cook and like like wholesome mm -hmm. things. And I think that's yeah. followed me throughout life. But I was very sensitive. Like I always I have journals for my entire life because I just like write in composition oh, notebooks. Um, I like to plant plants when I was a kid and I, I, I grew up on a farm. So I like love animals, um, but I skied all the time. I played a lot of sports, but I was just like sweet, I'm yeah. a sweet boy. And so I got bullied a lot. <laughs> well, I was like shy. Oh, okay. I wasn't Pe shy. People don't get that from me. No, no. Well, I'm, I kind of give shy now, but. No, you don't get shy. You always laugh. I'm like, no, he I'm... laughs so much. But I think that's just your personality. It's because I like look at the things I'm doing and I'm like, you're an idiot. Yeah. And then I like laugh at myself. Well, you don't take it that seriously. And I, I grew up like, especially with social media, it was like an era. I wasn't doing it back then. I've only really been doing YouTube for like almost four years now. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was the era where everything had to be like perfect and perfectly produced or like vlog style yeah. or, you know, like how it was trendy to just like show off everything on social media, like yeah. car tour, Hermes bag, to like Trisha all this stuff. showing yeah. off all her queen. Shit. Yeah. And she has a baby. That's so it's true. It's so cute. But no, I, I would expect you to be like, not like a, a loud. A cut. Like, no, 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 no. Like as a kid, like you yeah. were like very out, like i mean outgoing. yeah I, I was i did theater but i was also like pretty sensitive were and, you like, a gleek no i did the <laughs> shows but i did not hang out afterwards probably because i was like one of like three capable boys of singing and acting oh really so i got the lead role for everything out that of default is so funny but um theater kids are wild shout out to my theater people that have the i used it, to date a theater a theater boy that's really scary he was he was a singer yeah name yes. name him no <laughs> Oh, I think he he literally like fled the country after we broke. Up. I mean, <laughs> smart. Yeah, no theater. I I love theater people really? for their knowledge and like. Oh how my god! Like they, they know every song. They know every note. Yeah. They know every like. It's real crazy. It's a little. I don't think I could date somebody who's a, a theater, a theater. person. Well, I think like this is how I feel. I feel like there's you know the star 
and then or there's like the person a, who thinks there's a star there's yeah a star, there's and like, then the star there's a balloon and a rock like in a relationship those are the best relationships because like, there's yeah you know like they work yeah. together to yeah. make it happen theater kids are balloons yeah theater yeah. kids are balloons and i'm a balloon for sure you're a balloon i'm flying in the air i'm like all over yeah like, the, head in the clouds and i need a rock yeah and we were both balloons like you yeah know I mean? it's all it's hard to date somebody who's like in that world or like an actor or a creator because yeah. You need in a relationship, you need to have that volley. So yeah. Kind of like a seesaw. Like you push each other to be the best version of you and make each other's projects or whatever like great. But there usually doesn't work out like that. Somebody always needs to be like ahead of the game. Yeah. I'm not projecting Are you a balloon? whatsoever. Are you a balloon? Um, I think I'm somewhere in between. I'm like a balloon with not Your like block. full helium. So like I'm I'm pretty level. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know the balloons you want to float away, but don't? Yeah. That's me. Like, You're I'm, I'm going to stay there, but I'm still, like, above <laughs> most of the other rocks. That's so funny. Yeah. I, like, I, I've never thought about that. <laughs> well, it's because I am very creative and very smart and humble. Yes. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You are really creative. Like, Thank I feel you. like you come up with cool stuff. Thanks. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. What's your favorite thing? No, I'm kidding. One of my favorite, like, date questions to ask is, what's your favorite color and what color do you think you are? Oh. And I can go first if you yeah. want. Yeah. So I think my favorite color long time is red. Oh, my God. That's bold. It's a bold color. But I had a red sippy cup growing up. And, like, okay. I think because of that, like, I always liked the color red. Yeah. And so it's been my, like, long, long time favorite color. And then I think. Do you like to wear that color? No. Oh, Every, red, it's like it's such a safe. It's just such a safe. Red and orange are scary to me. But I like having, I have like big pops of red in my house. Like, okay. Which is like a yeah. lot, but yeah. I like it. I like that. Um, And then I just got one of those like Stanley cups in right, like a vibrant red. And I literally, it's like I have my adult sippy cup. Aren't, I literally <laughs> just said that. I'm like, I was texting my friend. I'm like, I can never use this in person because I feel like I was walking into the gym and by mistake, it is my car Stanley. I ordered one in yeah. sage green, which is one of my favorite colors. Yeah, yeah. And I walked into the gym with it and I had to turn around and put it back in my car. I'm like, I feel no. like this is a baby bottle it for is. an adult. I'm like, this is so embarrassing, it, but it's everything. It's like I actually drink so much water because of it. Yeah. But I'm like, this is an embarrassing thing. It's very embarrassing, but I'm kind of like, I live for it. I want to lean into the cringe. Well, in New York, I don't leave. I, it doesn't leave my house. Like if I had okay, a car. You have limits. If I a car yeah like i would put it in my it's per it fits it's the only yeah, thing that fits great in my car yeah i actually have the hydro flask version so it's oh a little, it's a little leg elevated. up on the competition <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but i think i'm a yellow or an orange like a okay. yellow orange okay like that's how i feel like my energy is yeah yeah i don't like those colors why <laughs> I'm I'm oh my saying. god no okay. i'm kidding i think it takes a specific person and you have the skin tone to pull it off yellow and orange i think well th i think that's like what i am like yeah. like like the energy like my energy yeah, it's like my happy. aura is no, I do like yeah. it. I'm teasing you. Um, for me, I think I'm a shade of green. I like like a moss green or like a dark hunter evergreen color, just because it's it's earthy, it's stable, it's mm -hmm. comforting, and I think that's like who I am. But also like variations. So there's like crack it in there a little bit. Yeah, but I just like I love the outdoors so much, and green just makes me happy. You can I have like green eyes, so it. It, uh, it's very complimentary <laughs> to my color. Well, you give me like blue purple as like your aura. I, blue used to be my favorite color. Oh, really? Yeah. And I actually, that's funny. I think blue and purple were in my, I got this when I was in New York the last time I got like an aura picture thing. Yeah. I don't know if that's real or a lie. Like, Oh, I love filter, it. I do it every, every six months. Is it real? Well, yeah, because mine changes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And it really, I feel like it could be made up, but sometimes they read it. It's like, like a preset. Yeah. The camera. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, my boyfriend and I went and he got, he got his and like she was like you're having stomach problems and he had had stomach oh problems God. for two months oh. and she was like you need to work on your gut and then he was like he's like i don't believe in it i was like she literally got it so right like yeah. she got both of us very right like that's so crazy so i believe in it yeah and like okay. i don't know i really like i like it i'm also like i like rocks and like crystals <laughs> yeah you're just a rock girl what was yeah. that avril lavigne thing i'm just a rock chick oh my god i miss avril lavigne me Bring too her she back. cloned I know. I think she was cloned. I feel like her clone like eats though. Her clone is dating like all the hottest guys. So that's kind yeah. of, I live for that for her. I feel, was she like a planted like. I think she's an industry plant. Okay. I call everybody an industry plant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back on track. No, but like, so do you have like a favorite pop girly from growing up? Um, Yes. And I say this because, I mean, I love Ariana. Okay. So before her, it was always mariah but only because oh, okay. i am what you're a lamb i am a lamb okay. and proudly i have been so delusional about mariah my whole life like i've listened to her but i'm also a britannista 
Oh, okay. Yeah, the Britney Army. Um, she, I just love like happy music that like you don't have to think about, but you can like oh, live I to. Well, that's like what being gay is about. Yeah. Like I, I love, <laughs> it's true, not thinking, just having a good time. <laughs> and I love like, I have a very eclectic taste in music. Like I can oh, listen same. to soundtracks or I don't know, not country, but a little bit of country. Like Casey Musgraves. Country. Okay. Casey Musgraves is like Pop. such good country. Yeah. She's great. Old Taylor Swift. I would say we need to. Bring I'm gonna plead the fifth. What? No, no, I'm kidding. Tears I just, on my guitar. No, she's an amazing like gowns, beautiful gowns. She's an amazing beautiful song. gowns. <laughs> oh, I'm not a Swifty. Oh, okay, I'm not a Swifty. I'm in a good I'm space. I'm just saying I'm like my favorite Taylor yes, era is school. when big curly hair, the gown, literal gowns, teardrops on my guitar. Yeah. Guitar, like the music videos were so funny I back know. then too. I just don't connect to her that much because I feel like she sings. And this is shade. Like I'll, I'll I'll throw shade. I think the people that like her music are people who like want relationships, but I've never been in one. But they in their head they're so delusional that they think they've been heartbroken so many times. So they're like, oh my god, she wrote this about me. Maybe when they've never dated somebody. I'm trying in to think. Life. See, like I personally, I have like nothing against Taylor. Yeah, I will say same. nothing against her. Don't come for me. <laughs> come for me. I don't care. I'm off Twitter now, so it's fine. No, I, don't say I anything. like it's just like uh I. There was these Swift. I follow girls who are Swifties, right? Obviously, they just like love yeah. Taylor Swift, and they're like, they think she's the lyricist of like all time. Yeah. But I think I'm like just like a beat person. Like I don't even care about the lyrics yeah. that much sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 yeah like yeah. so, I think like for me, I just I don't know. I'm not. She's not my yeah. babe. I I'm a Beyonce girl. I love Beyonce. I've, I've seen recently, her six times. I've really connected with her. This like club, last in album. Club Renaissance. Yeah, and like I saw her live and it. Did changed. you go? Yes. I was I was in Montana. I was I was supposed to get back on Monday for the Monday night show, oh and I was God. still in Salt Lake. And I'm like, okay, I gave my ticket away. That's it was so heartbreaking. Sad. But I've seen her six times because I used to work in radio, so I feel like I've just seen everything. However, this era feels so special and like community yeah. and like queer. I'm it's sorry, really, it. it's really cool. Yeah. It was like a, it was my first time seeing her, so it was like really an experience. Yeah. and it's a three-hour show. It's like a long yeah. show that she just keeps. She's going. an incredible performer. I'm like, and the mic yeah. is on. Yeah, the mic the is mic. on. <laughs> Wait, uh, Honey Mahog, not Honey Mah. Oh my God, Balen- <laughs> Honey Balenciaga. <laughs> honey Mahog- <laughs> not Honey Mahogany. Ooh. Honey Balenciaga. Um, when she's death dropping and like voguing, I'm like, that's me. That's what I look like oh. when I do that. But it's not. She's so tiny. She's literally a tiny person. I, no, and then like she, like, she goes out and serves. It's yeah. really crazy. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, Mariah, because I love like a lot of her music, super inspirational, and I feel like I manifested it my whole she life. She has such a beautiful voice. Insane. Insane. I manifested it, and I interviewed her for Rolling Stone magazine. Oh my god! And honestly, it was amazing. I connected with her because I'm so deranged in my brain. I'm like, oh no, we're friends. I talked to her like a normal person. Like we talked about puppies and skincare and boys. And I, I was the only person that got, it was supposed to be a three minute interview. I got to interview her for 15 minutes. And then she invited me um, to her Vegas show for a weekend. So I got to go to the Vegas show. That's so nice. Met her backstage. And it was like, she's so kind and so sweet. But like she would not move. It was like me in the intro. She would like, during the interview, she was like this. And then she would sing things that she needed. She's like, I need an apple box right now on a matcha. Because the lighting's not correct. I it was so she, good. She like gives me diva in the best way. Yeah. Like she is. Like she deserves a, it. Yeah. She's yeah. like a star and yeah. like a diva. But yeah. like those octaves earned it. it. You know I what I mean? Her. She's so camp too with Christmas. I'm obsessed. Okay. So I have on here. It says you went clubbing with Adam Lambert in NYC yeah. at 1819. Yeah. How was that? <laughs> um, well, I was at this club. I don't know if it's around anymore. It's yeah, it's a standard. Yeah, it was like oh, the yeah. first Le, time. Le, Le, bon. Le, bon. Le Bon. It was like three in the morning because I didn't know clubs like are open that late. They're in open New York. four in New York. Oh wow. Well, it was my first weekend out, and it's when I was doing my internship in New York. So I was living in Park Slope for six months. Um, and yeah, we. I was like, God, I think I was like nineteen, and we are in the club, and we just start dancing and like hanging out and. That is one crazy. thing led to another. Did Nothing you, happened. Did you kiss? <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, but it was so long. <laughs> like ago. how you turned away no. to show your good side. <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love his music though. No, that's really crazy. Yeah. Did you? You just bumped into him there? Yeah, it was like a dark club. Like it was like early. Like I was out with my friends. It was really fun. What is he up to now? I have no idea. 
<laughs> okay, like this is so crazy, but when he, you know how he does like his eyeliner, yeah, he kind of gives me magician. Yeah, I think that's I think that's his brand. Is that his? Like, he's vibe? a front man for uh, some band like Queen. Okay, Queen. Okay, Queen. Yes, Queen. <laughs> but it's like a cover band. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I mean, his voice is insane. Yeah, he's yeah. really talented. But, okay, and then you worked for Condé Nast. I did. I interned there. Uh, Teen Vogue and GQ. Didn't really like publication that much. In my mind, I was very inspired by um, The Hills and Whitney oh my Poor God. and La Lauren Conrad. So I booked Whitney to come to our college to speak for Springfest, and I interviewed her. That's and she cool. gave me a contact, even though bitch didn't even like really work there. Like after finding out, like it was not like a real. I feel bad, Whitney. I love you. You're not a bitch. She's super sweet. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but she she didn't really work there. It was no, like, just for the show. It's all state. The show is like fully like. A production well i mean i knew that i didn't know that then and i, I don't like catch up on it and then i watch like this whole podcast i'm like oh my god but anyways i got a contact and i interviewed and i got the job like i had a column at my um college newspaper yeah. and i had a radio show so i was like in that world already and it was great it was just like not the world for me it was too did you want to be like a journalist yeah i loved fashion and i love like writing about it but it's just like it's not everybody takes it so seriously okay. i'm like it's just close can it's we relax so serious yeah. well we were i was talking about this with like um my other guests i was like fashion is i used to not think about it as like an art form but if you watch shows and like yeah well especially like old when there was super theatrical like in the early 2000s like yeah it was more like performance art yeah. as fashion yeah and so like i get that part like when i think i about get fashion, that yeah. I, I totally see it as art but, but i'm people like people take it so it doesn't serious. seem fun yeah. you know and the vibe at Condé Nast was not fun either and it was yeah. also before like um anything really went like on social media like it was like very it was still when teen vogue was in print oh yeah. yeah i'm sad they stopped printing it i know that magazine was so slay yeah i was like wow that's the one what was it is it 17 where like <sighs> that one was yeah was so a neutrogena good. commercial yeah wait <laughs> didn't you do a hair brand campaign a garnier commercial. it was so and you had billboards yeah i, I was that. on a billboard congratulations that's like i like i've had these that was moments. Your dream right <laughs> yeah. or a dream yeah well i, I had this <laughs> moment i was like i was like i'm gonna go see my billboard I'm gonna see my... and i get there and i'm like oh that's me and i started sobbing and my friend that's so jen cool. she was recording me <laughs> i'm just like i look so ugly like <laughs> i'm like tears like i couldn't stop crying because i was like this is crazy like wow, that's awesome and i had seen pictures of it and i was like oh wow that's cool yeah but like to see it in person and see my self my head was like 20 feet in the air i was like yeah. this is literally like that's the coolest I was like, thing and it was a painted billboard so they paid for my face oh to my get painted God. onto this giant wall and i just like i couldn't believe it in new york in la actually oh, cool. it was in downtown la Did they have one in new york i think they're in miami and oh, wow. and la so i would have to go and visit all of them that's so cool I, they're crazy now i'm at the bus stop i've got oh. <laughs> Stop. Is the bus still <laughs> running? <laughs> I'm doing the Roxy Andrews. No, literally. Thing from oh yeah. <laughs> what is it? How Your does it go? Mom left me at the bus stop. <laughs> we love Roxy that's Andrews. Odd. We love everybody. That's not funny. No, but, it's not. But, but it is. But I always think about like uh, Katya. Yeah. Being like, I think about you every morning at the, the bus, bus stop. stop. I oh, love Katya. That was she, a wild. She's thing to from say. Boston, and the first drag show I went to. She was performing, and I have pictures from way when I was in college. She was performing mm -hmm. "Till the World Ends" by Britney, and it was like a rough Katya, like before Drag Race. Oh, but whoa. she's so f***ing funny. I love yeah, her. I like how she's just a little crazy. She lives near me. She's a little off her rocker. I saw her on Grinder. Oh my god, really? Yeah, that would be so weird to see it like a. It's weird. I got um. I got banned from Grinder because I bullied somebody. That's a good reason. But though. I didn't bully them. <laughs> Literally, this man was so unhinged. He sent me a picture of himself, like with a, a big aquarium behind him and he was like with a thumbs up and he was a handsome guy and i'm like haha where's like who took this nemo and he was like haha yeah um it was self-timer i'm like oh that's so i said that's so random i didn't say that's weird i didn't say this is awkward i'm like so random that you just did like self-timer and then he was like yeah it's kind of random but that's just like me and it was fine and then two minutes later he's like you know what i've been meaning to say this i was really offended by your comment and he reported my account and, and I you got, you got blocked. I got, got blocked. Banned? I got blocked. I'm device blocked, so I can't even download it on my phone. 
That is so insane. Yeah, it was wild. And my friend like works at Grinder. I'm like, can you like fix this? Because I, I don't really use the app. I just like like to see what's around. And he's like, no, once your device blocked, you like can never like have a grinder <laughs> again. So now I need to get a new phone, but I'm not I'm not desperate. To that do is that. literally insane. I'll show you the picture later. It was very random. Let me send that. Okay. One thing, like, have you ever heard of Sippies or been on Sippies? I've heard of it. It's I haven't me. been on, it's but I've like, seen it's like next level grinder. It's yeah. like scary grinder. It's like it's like show up here and get yeah. into it. No, but the very, that scares me. Like the killer. <laughs> like somebody. Like I'm gonna get killed if I do that. Wait, I have a story. My friend. Are has, you a sniffinista? No, I, I, I'm. I'm in a relationship. I'm in a relationship. Yeah, I'm in a boyfriend. We're we're in a monogamous relationship. Oh, I love so. that. Yeah, monogamous is that crazy? I feel like that's really crazy for like. It's rare. Yeah. I was monogamous for six point. I was in a very long term, six and a half years. Yeah. Monogamous, great, and that's like. 60 years in the straight world yeah it really yeah. is it really like like a, a two-year relationship in gay is like a, yeah you're married, married with children it's like we'd ha we would own a home together and have like yeah. at least four dogs and if i was like <laughs> i and, did yeah <laughs> <laughs> i um but no my friend there's like sniffy's chat boards and he sent me a screenshot <laughs> i wish i had it saved so i could find it fast Should we were in act and it was no it was literally like i sos only bottom at orgy <laughs> <laughs> please send back the troops. Please send backup. <laughs> that was on the, oh my god! That was on the chat. Board. I love that. He said, he "Sisters, said, please he help." Said, he sent a screenshot to the group chat, and he's like, "Should I go?" And we're like, "Shut the <laughs> up!" Like you it, were the person on the chat board. Oh my god! It made me laugh. <laughs> it made me laugh so hard because I was like, "Gay people are crazy." Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> please send backup, and I was like, <laughs> just like a a call into the abyss, like. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the submarine is sinking and you're sending like the 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 SOS, tap, the SOS yeah. taps. Like, oh my not, god, the remote control was not working. Oh my god, that was like making <laughs> made me laugh so hard. But I was like, what is this? Like this is wild. It's very horny out there. The streets are very scary. Yeah, I don't really date in LA. Like I go on a couple dates occasionally, but now I'm just like, if I meet somebody, I, I'm I like the romantic aspect. So like, yeah. I was walking down Melrose and I uh, stopped and got a coffee and there was this dog like in line with an owner but i saw the dog first because i'm yeah. a dog person and i go to pet him and i get up and this guy is like oh my god he's so handsome and then we matched on hinge a couple weeks later or like a and couple days later you recognize i recognize the dog because his profile picture was the dog and him and we ended up going on a date and it was really romantic but uh i didn't like him so <laughs> i like the dog though i'll see the dog again okay yeah <laughs> hey can I, I take your dog for a walk Ugh, i want a dog so bad but i just i can't not a New York. I feel like you. Sh it should be illegal to have a dog in New York. I have a friend who has a dog, and he lets the dog like jump on his bed after being out in the street. And I'm like, oh, oh no. It's just like I got yelled at. I brought my dog to New York when I was there for Fashion Week last year, and she's great and like, like so obedient. Um, I let her loose like in Central Park, and like the cops oh, were like coming mad. for me. Yeah, people got mad, and yeah. she wasn't running or anything. She was, just, she's, uh, she, she was trained to be like a emotional support dog, so yeah. she was just. Walking right next to me, and people were like swearing at me. It was insane. Yeah, people get really mad. I, people who get like that, I'm like, let me put you on a leash and see how it feels, bitch. Literally. Well, I just, I just feel like a lot of people don't train their dogs. Yeah. And so they probably don't know yeah. that your dog is trained. Yeah. You I know. That too. But I mean, how many dogs do you have now? Um, so I have two that are mine, and then um, I there's an alternate. <laughs> there's an alternate third dog. alternate. That, no, um, there's a child of divorce that goes in between my ex and I. So mm -hmm. whenever I go to Montana, I take him with me because he's a Aww. ten year old husky and he loves to go hiking and swim and be outdoors. I love husky. Um, so whenever I travel out west, he'll like come with me for a month. Oh, and he was like really my sweet. first dog, but he he stays with my ex. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's his name? Uh oh, I'm like, oh my god, my ex. No, no, you're, you're <laughs> Wolf. His name is Wolf. He's so oh, cute. That's so He's cute. He's the cutest. I my right before college, I found went to the shelter and I found this like like husky German Shepherd mix. And she looked like an anime dog, and I couldn't stop thinking about her. So I sent like 40 pictures to my mom, and she's like, okay, I'll take her. <laughs> so now and that was your dog? Yeah, now my parents have her in Texas. Oh my god, she's alive. And she's like, she's her fur is so thick. They have to like, yeah, like cut her hair. So she's yeah. like she's it's a um, second coat but she's the sweetest dog they're the best but they're she's crazy so she's just like whiny and like yeah. cute like yeah. she has so much personality kind of like you whiny and cute 
He has so much personality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So you're like, as a kid, you were outgoing, but you were yeah. shy. Yeah. I was a little reserved, but I grew up in a very republic. We got so off track. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, no, no. Sorry. I like circled back because yeah, we yeah. kind of passed um, it. Yeah. I grew up in a very like upper class community, but we were poor. Like my mom was a maid growing up and she cleaned all the houses of like my friends and like people on my street. Oh, but wow. like my parents worked so much. So my brothers technically raised me. Like my parents were never, my mom was a maid and then put herself through nursing school and became a nurse Oh wow! and then became a PA after. So she's like kind of like a doctor. Whoa. Um, but she was always working and I grew up in the town where it was just like very waspy, but we just did not fit in. So it was kind of hard. Like we didn't have a lot of extra money, but my, my mom always did the best she could. That's sweet. That. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. And like your parents, that was like they were fresh in America when. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So I didn't know anything about like American culture, like sleepovers and birthday parties and like that, like play dates and that type of thing. Yeah. So we had like farm animals and I wasn't allowed to like go to sleepovers or anything. I spent a lot of time with my brothers and just like out in nature and go fishing and stuff. Do you feel like you're the same like person as you were as a kid? I have a definitely. A, I think I'm. I'm much more confident and out, I'm very outspoken and I'm very yeah. like blunt and upfront. Yeah. Um, but before I was very like, I was a little quiet with things that I wanted or how I felt. And now like, that's what I lead with. Like, no, I always think I was like, I was just not like, I wasn't myself yet because I was holding back. Yeah. And so now I just like don't hold back anymore. Yeah. It's kind of nice. It's important. Everything. And I, I was also like, I held back in my previous relationship a lot because I mm -hmm. kind of like watered myself down a little bit because I didn't want to, I wanted to be PC and I didn't want to like outshine anyone. Not that I was, but you know what I mean? You kind of hold yeah. some relationships. You can't be fully yourself because it just like, well, there's that, like, there's like a, a constant, like other person you're affecting with all yeah, your actions. Exactly. Like. Especially in social media. Like I was like terrified of ever speaking too much or being too much or saying too much. And I, now I'm just like, completely authentically me and, and I, I don't even think you do anything crazy no you mentioned being so broke you were stranded in St. Bart's and had to sleep on a beach how'd you even get to that point? well actually I went to Cuba I went to Cuba years ago and before I was before the yeah before the it got crazy orders opened up or like they allowed yeah I, could, or I think now you can fly straight to Cuba actually no I could I, I believe I flew southwest so it was probably right when they opened up it was before right before Beyonce went so if we timeline it, I know that she went and she stayed at a really nice hotel there. Okay. Um, and then I believe the Kardashians went as well. Anyways, so I went not thinking that I needed cash. I just had like my debit cards. I go to the country. I had like $20 in cash. None of the systems worked. I could not use my debit card. Because you're out of touch. Yes. Because well, also like I, I just don't think they had the tech to do that. So we were staying in an Airbnb. They were shutting off the power and the water at like 11 o'clock. So it was no AC. Um, I had no cash for food. On the third day, I ran out of money. We were eating crackers at like a little diner and having like ice cream soft serve like for 50 cents. And randomly, I got on Facebook, which was they also cut down the Wi-Fi. So they sell these little Wi-Fi cards like outside, like in little alleys. And I bought a Wi-Fi card. I got on Facebook and I'm like in caps. If anybody can get me money to Cuba or is coming to Cuba in the next week, like, please, like, withdraw, like, $300 so I can eat. I haven't had a meal in, like, five days at this point. And thankfully, a girl from my college um, was coming down and she brought me cash. But it was insane. And then I always wanted to go to St. Bart's, which I didn't know was, like, not budget friendly. <laughs> so I go to St. Bart's <laughs> and I couldn't afford the hotel. So we slept on a beach. Oh. For two nights. It was really fun. I used to backpack all the time. And I, I love, like, just, like, throwing stuff in a bag and just traveling. I'd obviously, like, it's a little more elevated now. Um, but I was very adventurous in college, for sure. That is wild. Yeah. And I was waiting. Like, you know when you have, like, negative money in your bank account and you're waiting for the direct deposit to hit? Yeah. Once it hit, I'm like, oh, we booked a hotel. <laughs> We're eating lobsters, eating spaghettis. That is so <laughs> wild. Yeah, it was fun. So you flew from Cuba to St. Bart's? Or? Yeah, or I think Miami and then St. Bart's. Oh, okay. It was, like, up and then down. That is so... Cuba was wild. I was on a... Was it, like... It's, like, stuck in time. Yeah, it's a time yeah. warp. It's very, very sad because a lot of... I think a lot of influencers that go now like make it seem like when Beyonce went or the Kardashians went around that time they made it seem like it was fabulous and luxury but we were like in the grid of it like there were like tumbled crumbled buildings you'd go into yeah. like a corner store and they would have like 
200 Snickers in like the refrigerated area, but no eggs, no milk, nothing that people don't have access to air con- air conditioner would cost like a thousand dollars, like an in wall unit. Wow. It like the people struggle and they they're starving because they don't have any way of getting anything or work or whatever. So I think a lot of influencers that go like show this side of it. That's like, you know, IG yeah. like bold filter, but <laughs> literally like glamorizing it you with the wig with the bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, glamorizing it. But I don't think I would go back just because I mean it was beautiful to see like all that time warp stuff. And I do photo like film photography, and that's what I was there doing. Um, but I don't think I would go back to like adventure around there. It was a lot. That's crazy. Yeah. That story. The food insane. was lovely though. I can't believe a girl just from your college is like, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. Some cash yeah, through. that's wild. <laughs> She's going to the Bay of Pigs. The- <laughs> <laughs> moving into the present okay the now okay living in la and montana what are the biggest differences between the two states i know you lived in la for nine years yes i just came up on my nine my it's technically like eight full years the ninth year was like internship like going back and forth wait what'd you ask what's the difference yeah what's like what are um, the big differences well, well there like, like everything's like real like i have like i mean i have great friends here i have like two or three solid friends but my lifestyle there and here is really similar. Like I spend a lot of time outdoors. I don't like, I'm not like, I don't club. I don't like, I'll go out and I love dancing and being social. Do you ever go to WeHo? I occasionally, but I like, it's too much. I feel like you would I, drive in WeHo. No, I used to, but now it's like, <laughs> there's a lot of um, straight people there. I'll, because during COVID, they I've were heard. the only clubs that stayed open. And now like it's full of straight people or That's bridesmaids, which is fine. I live for that. And like the bridal party. No, get them out. But it's also like 19 year old, like twink TikTok boys. Like, I feel like for the first time in my life, me, I f- rise, rise. <laughs> uh, the first time in my life, like, I went like a month ago and I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm older than some of these people. Like, oh. I don't want to be like a 50 year old man in the back of the club. Like, there has to be a cutoff. Oh my God. That's scary. But I know no, like, exactly what you mean. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'll probably go to the bar as like a joke or something. At some I point. mean, I go with my friends like occasionally. Like I see Athena out and like oh, she, she lives there. Yeah. She lives in WeHo in the club. Like every time I'm out, I see her and she's I've known her for kind of a long time. When I was in Seattle once, she saw me on the street She's and she came up to me. I think it was before she popped off she, on TikTok. Oh, really? Yeah. She's and so funny. She's so and she's really, really. But I had like a real like heart to heart moment with her. I'm like giving her advice and saying hi, like. Not like all kiki kiki kiki. Yeah. Um, and she's really, she's great. I like her a lot. I like her a lot. Her energy is like so like, this is like going to sound mean, but toxic in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a front. Well, because she's, she's just like her, her form of affection is to like berate bully you. you. Yeah. Like and bully I love, you. I know that's a love language too. But it's a, such a good love yeah. language, but yeah. it's like so funny. I'm like, you're toxic in the best way. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I like, really... I think she has a really sweet side though that no, she probably yeah. doesn't show off. As no, much. she was really genuinely like yes. nice yeah. and like open when we, when, when she was here. Yeah. I invited her to lunch and she, I was like, Oh, do you want to go or breakfast at like nine 30 or something? And she's like, Oh, I'm not gonna make it. it. Was like noon, and she texts me. She's like, "I'm not gonna make it. I just woke up." I'm like, "Okay." She's like, "I wake up, up at three thirty, and I'm yeah. like, oh, girl, yeah." <laughs> yeah. But honestly, my life in Montana and here is similar. Just I enjoy myself there because everything's like quieter. But I also yeah. find myself for the first time being here, missing LA now because oh, I'm okay. like out of a relationship. I've been able to like grow my friendships a little more, and not saying like by the number of people in my life, but just like the quality of our relationships. Yeah. And sure. I'm getting into like a routine of like, Oh, like you can go to dinner with friends or you can meet people for lunch or like go on weekend trips with friends. And it's something I didn't have for so long. Yeah. So now I'm like, I enjoy being here and getting into like a little rhythm, I know. which is nice. I was like yesterday I got, I landed and I took a nap and then I went on a run at the beach and I was like, I cannot believe that I was like a nine minute drive yeah. from a beach and like the sun is setting and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, this is like so stunning. Have you been to Malibu yet? Okay. No, but I need to I go. need to take you. <laughs> I'll take you this week. Oh my God. I would yeah, love let's to go. Do it. That would be, so, I heard it's so beautiful. It's great. You just have to go at the right time. Never go on a weekend. Or if you do, go before like 11 a.m. because it gets crazy. It just gets so busy on a weekend. I usually go like a weekday evening and I like take the dogs to the beach and I'll like go get tacos on the PCH. And like Mm. it's a real there's a really cute shopping area there. That sounds so nice. Yeah, it's cool. Can we egg Caitlyn Jenner's house? Yeah. Oh, my God. I saw her in traffic (laughs) once. Really? Yes. Yes. So I was driving through the hills and there was an accident. And there was this big suburban like pulled up this close to the back of my car. And this woman comes out with like a visor. 
And like I rolled down my window because I'm like, what are you doing? There was an accident ahead of us. Yeah. And she's like, what's going on over here? <laughs> and I'm like, wait, that impression is really Listen, good. Listen, Kim, Chloe, <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> Kendall, Kylie. Um, and she got back in her suburban. I'm like, I think there's an accident. No. Yeah, it was really scary. That's really that was, was a, a really scare. good impression. Yeah. I'm like, didn't you cause this accident? Girl, that the killer. let's get into that. Yeah. <laughs> that is so crazy. The electric chip. I know. I like it's too much. So uh, wild. I mean, I'm all for it. Like I bought the book in the beginning, but I'm like, you're insane. Like, how can you be so against your own people? <laughs> She's like <laughs> <laughs> she's like well she won woman of the year she's like trans woman like she was like and then she was like well actually nah, I f you guys <laughs> yeah i hate the trans community. like the way she did she go after dylan mulvaney yes that is so crazy i'm like this is somebody who is you know like, I, you has so much in common and is so young and has can change so much and is doing so much good but, it's wild well she grew up being so privileged yeah and having all access to all these things that like she doesn't realize how big of a deal it is yeah. for young people who it's, aren't wealthy and like absolutely. I don't know. I think yeah. it's like she's just out of touch. Like, yeah, so out of touch. She's but, a mess. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's so funny that your impression was so good. I do that I I love impressions and I love accents. that. Has to be your like if you're on it's Drag Race, that would be your oh, yes. But, but who did that? Trinity, Trinity did Trinity, it. Trinity did it already. Yeah, yeah. I don't. That was great. It I was, was like, so good. See, my only impression I'm really good at is. Oh god. Here we go. So, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yours is I know it is. It's the theater that jumped out. Yeah. <laughs> the actor. Yes. 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 Uh, what's your dream role? Do you have a dream role? My dream role um is gone. Um it was a show. I'm not gonna name the show because I'm still a little pissed about Bitter. it. No, but I, I actually, I worked on it for a little bit, but not in an acting capacity. Okay. Um, It was a CW show that was on air for seven years and just recently ended, but I was up for a role and it didn't work out. Um, oh, that's so sad. But that's okay. Like, honestly, I, I came to LA with certain aspirations and sometimes it's really cool when life throws a completely different deck of cards your way. Yeah. And you just make it work. Okay. I could see you as a soap opera. <gasps> I okay. love that. You're like, you would be like slapping slapping bitches like, <laughs> thank you <laughs> no like like the like, rupaul and they do the like, like fake yeah slap. like i feel like it would be so dramatic like you could do it it I would could... be oh i just saw bottoms the oh movie. yeah yeah did you like it i i did like it but i'm like this there's a lot of violence no i here. no i was so surprised by the ending yeah i, was I think too. it's good okay have you seen theater camp no i've been wanting to see that okay is well, that good yeah it okay. was really it was really okay, funny I see that. but i saw bottoms right after i saw theater camp and i think that i saw them too close together because like you were judging yeah. yeah well they're just different types of humor yeah and i didn't expect bottoms to be like so camp it was it's, camp it's very camp i wish it was a it leaned into so many like variations of the same movie like there was a lot of mean girls references yeah. heathers in there i like that like raunchy humor from like the early 2000s that <laughs> yeah. like does not exist now it's literally and that, that was cool but i also wish there were like some more gay boys in that but i know marketing wise i understand why they did yeah um, queer women we love lesbians yeah we love lesbians, lesbians. love you yeah. love the haircut <laughs> <laughs> love the haircut <laughs> love you sis um but yeah it would probably be like the project I'm writing right now, which is um, like a, a rom com situation. I love rom coms, and I love they're not super popular, but like I would love to be in a high school movie. But maybe we're aging out of high school, but that's okay. Yeah, you could be the principal. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see. I think if I was an actor, uh huh, I would be the. I would kind of do gay best friend. Yeah, yeah. No, same. I just like want to be the person that I wasn't able to be in high school. Like yeah. the, the gay best friend that's just like really fun and funny. Cause I feel like a lot of high school movies are so cringy because they don't have the audience in the writer's room. Like you that's need to, if you're writing about high school, you need to be hiring like 15, 16, 17 year olds who understand the lingo and it's just not cringy. But why are you having a 50 year old straight man executive like writing and producing this project? And then they like Freak. have them. I, my least favorite thing about like high school TV show movies is when they have the text chain pop up and they're texting <sighs> And I'm like, no one fucking texts like, like that. Slay. Yeah, I'm like, 
for the love of God, get a teenager to review yeah. this. Like, please, just like ask someone. Like, teenager on the street, does this make sense? Like, which uh, call it? Um, Bottoms did a great job at the lingo. Bo- though. Bottoms but because, did a really good job. Um, Rachel Sennett. Ra- yes, was involved. Was like, in she's she so funny. So funny. Love her. I think she's actually like one of my favorite comedian girls. She's like, gonna right be now. massive. Like, I yeah. love the new generation of comedians that have like grown over like tiktok and social media do you know grace yes i met her yes, i love grace yeah she's i love her. she has a podcast um she's, called finally and they're she's so, so funny. funny so funny i people think it's so real but like you have to be witty and smart to realize that it's no here. and like my favorite thing she'll do this thing where she's like i'm just one of the guys and yes, <laughs> she's like yes. in a fedora and i'm like wearing like a button is, down like this literally hurts my heart to watch it i'm like this is so <laughs> Why do you like I you're hilarious? It. Remember Rachel Sennett from Twitter? She's yes. Like, it's LA. Yeah, it's so it's LA. If you like- don't have a eating disorder, get one. <laughs> and I'm like, that's I love real. Cocaine. That's very real. Like, I love like, cocaine. Like, girl, that was such a funny video. And I'm like, it's still iconic. Uh, did that make her pop off? I think that was her bit? big like Twitter moment. Isn't that so crazy? Was it Twitter? Was it TikTok to Twitter? Or it was whatever? Twitter for me. Okay. And like, same with uh britney broski like look at her now like yes i remember when that came out i rem- i was like one of <laughs> definitely the first hundred thousand people that watched it it was like the picture or like the video the, <laughs> the so the screenshots of her being like like it like, works for everything oh my well, god she's so funny she's so great um, she's a friend in my head just like you were a friend in my head yeah she's still a friend in my head and i've met her like uh, okay well like she i think she's like actually you. like if i if i texted her she'd like be my friend but like yeah in my head i'm like she's too cool for me. yeah i don't like i'm i reach out to people in the dms oh really Did i reach out to you yeah Did i we've dm'd I a little before a little bit yeah i'm so scared of dms oh yeah i mean i always say like i'm not like weird about it. i'm like you make me laugh you're stupid or something like like something yeah, no, like no. that you'll like enough nothing that serious but no i literally like something about in my head mentally is like it's so scary to respond to people's DMs. yeah and i don't know why would you ever want to be a director um no I, I like directing but i writing and producing is where my heart's at yeah um the goal is for this project to be adapted into film mm. uh that i'm working on and i think that's the biggest goal and yeah that's kind of where i'm at with my career and everything else is like is fun covid made me kind of pivot into home and design and lean more into stuff that i love and it just came naturally but yeah i don't take it super seriously and it's something i'm learning to that's the like the joy of short form content you kind of give homemaker yeah thank you yes. i love that because it's something that i didn't have growing up and yeah to have like i love to have friends over and have like a dinner party and make me like when you walk into my house it's like a hug like it yeah. feels good there's always candles on like there's always gonna be something baking the oven or food like just watch a movie and hang out and vibe and just like have a good time yeah there's a warmth especially like i love that you do those use a lot of green and it always feels mm-hmm. super warm yeah super, you're good at that yeah it's like grounding but no i love that because i just didn't really have that growing up and yeah i think i just want to feel like at home and safe and um happy at home that's so sweet yeah you're so wholesome (laughs) no i'm i'm a crackhead too yeah Yeah. i mean i don't i bounce off of people's energy so i can be like calm and zen but if you need me at a 10 like i don't need an energy drink i don't need drugs like i can just get there and i rarely drink i have like last night i had one cosmo out to dinner with my friends and i was baby Lit. lit oh my god yeah so i've started drinking less and my body feels better and i'm like oh that makes sense yeah that makes sense i ha- i don't drink my father's an extreme alcoholic so i was yeah. like always terrified of becoming one but i have like w- all it takes is a glass of wine and i'm like ready to go that is so surprising like yeah for me, well i stopped drinking and then i have one glass of wine and i'm like oh my god i'm <laughs> you're feeling your own oh, oh also like okay this is so crazy but my frontal lobe developed did it? it yes oh you didn't notice no <laughs> Well, like, no, but, like, actually, like, men's brains finish developing around 25. Yeah. And I feel like it actually, like, I felt it like I can actually. You feel it growing. (laughs) No, like, it's the weirdest feeling I've ever had in my life where I was like, oh, my God, I feel like I'm my like I'm capable of, like, doing things better. Like, right. I can understand things and retain information. And, like, Mm -hmm. I'm just, like, more. Are you on the spectrum? No. No. (laughs) I'm kidding. I am. So I'm, like. We're connecting right Maybe. now. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I no, don't I'm think a little, so. I think I have a little bit of either ADD or a little like learning disability. Oh, okay. A little bit. Like I learn in different ways. I learn like in a more creative aspect. So yeah. I feel like you're very maybe. creative. Yeah. Too. Maybe I do. I don't know. I think everybody's a little <laughs> up.
Amen. <laughs> I meant that in a loving way, not as weed. No, I love that. <laughs> love that. Thank you. No, I, no, I, I just I, see um, like I'm as joking, a I'm totally joking. I know, I know. I'm no, but I um no, but I actually feel like I can understand when things are affecting me now. Yeah. Which is so weird You're feeling to have. And now if I, I realize I'm like, oh, I feel really bad, it's because I have like if I drink too much caffeine, I get really anxious. Yeah. And I've yeah. realized that. Like the and like I used to think like, oh, I feel weird. Let me just drink more coffee. Like it'll settle me right. instead of like, oh, I feel weird because I had too much caffeine. Yeah. It's such a weird thing to like be like, oh, I'm paying attention now. I get it. So yeah, I, that's my, I think you're also growing up and becoming more mature and comfortable. And it's, so it's really, really interesting to feel like you don't need to be always like constantly doing something. Like when you're comfortable with yourself and confident in yourself, like you feel yourself growing up. So yeah. that's probably what you're going through too. I know. I, I just turned 27. Okay, period. Yeah, it's time for Botox. Yes. <laughs> that's when I started too. Okay, I got this like lip filler pen. Where oh. it's like, it's like, you, it's the, a The Dr. Dennis Ross a, one? No. Oh. oh my God, I forgot the name. It has a really pretty typeface. Okay. And I put it on. And it, was, it burns. Well, it was like really stingy. Yeah. <laughs> it was very We're huge. <laughs> Were we twins? <laughs> They were so You have you have nice lips though. You have big lips. So they must have been huge. No, they were like really swollen yeah. for a day. No, I did it too because I had a brand deal. I'm like, I can't use this product. <laughs> like I'll talk about it, but I can't use it. No, like it that, was painful. Yeah. Well, it didn't really hurt. It just like it was it was and they got really like red. Red. Yeah, because it's the blood that's like Rushing rising to, to the surface. Yeah, but like they all kind of looked good. Yeah. <laughs> I was like <laughs> The next time I see you, just have like full I'm, filler. Oh, I'm so grateful to have lips. Though. Yeah, that's the war. There's nothing worse than kissing somebody who has no lips. I yeah, like you're doing all the work. And then once you pay attention to it, you can't not notice it. No, because most people who don't have lips are bad kissers. Yeah, and you you can you can teach somebody, but it takes time. My worst kiss ever. I was okay, in L. A. Okay, and I was at this this bar, and this guy was like really tall. And we were hitting it off. And then we were like started making out at the bar. And it was like the driest make out. <laughs> the spectrum of like dry versus wet kisses is it's really? vast and it's scary. It was like, I don't, it was like kissing a rock. Like oh not even the country. Maybe he was on like Accutane or something. <laughs> no, it was like really crazy. It was like so insane. And I was like, and then I kept, I was like, oh, to get better. Oh, to get it better. It only got worse. And I was like, this is awful. And we What's made out water? four times. <laughs> oh my god i oh i like oh raise god. you because dating some not dating oh my god that kissing is somebody so who is bad. like you're like swimming it is like yeah. so oh much yeah spit and wet it's so bad or if they're too much of a biter i'm like what is like i welcome a little bit of the bitation of it all <laughs> but like if you're biting me and it hurts i don't like that that's so funny yeah yeah, I'm not much of a biter. Well, that's only right. Like, occasionally. Oh, yeah. uh, no, like a little, a niblet. Yeah, a nibble. Yeah. A nibble. Like a little fish. <laughs> the first time I ever made out with a guy, okay. um, I got so nervous, I got the shakes. <laughs> oh, my God. We were like, well, it wasn't even just like oh, a that's kiss. sweet, though. It was like my first time ever, like, kissing a guy. And we were, like, making out, like, in his bed. And I was like, it was in college. Yeah. And I just, was like, started shaking. <laughs> She was and seizing. he's like, "Are you okay?" You okay? <laughs> I was like, "I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah but, but. Were you a late bloomer? Um, I was like nineteen when I kissed Me a guy too. for the first time. Yeah, I got, I kissed a guy. Yeah, I was nineteen. Yeah, it was in college too, and I was like such a prude. And he slept over. I'm like, we can do everything, but I'm not taking off my boxers. Oh, okay. Because I was just like, I hadn't done anything. Yeah, and he dumped me like three days later for this guy who lived on my hall. That He's, is really crazy. Yeah, there was a rumor that I guess they were fisting each other. Oh, so I'm like, I may have like dodged a bullet there because I'm not into that. Yeah, the whole fist. That's no, no. <laughs> How does it get up there? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, well we got to fisting. Seen a few videos, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. It's really scary. No, he's not. <laughs> no, I um. And you know what? We love everyone. Teach well, they got, that guy who I made out with. We were like seeing each other. He fisted for a you. No, no. <laughs> he was a little twinky. Oh, right. He was a little twink. Mm. It was like, oh, uh, yeah. And he had like the craziest Southern accent. Okay. He southern. talked like this. Yeah. He's from Louisiana. I love that. He was drunk all the time. And I remember he asked me when he was drunk to be exclusive. And then um, <laughs> I found out two weeks later, he was like literally like dating someone. Else. He was just like <laughs> asking everybody to date and him. And I was like, and he broke his collarbone because he was drunk. And, oh my God, you've, you've been and I was like, and then I remember he like broke up with me. He broke up with me because I was like, 
we can fix it. Like <laughs> it didn't work. You know well, what? Like, We're much better off now. Well, you know, like the first guy you ever you like <gasps> day. I just got married. Oh, really? Yeah, I was invited to the wedding. Oh. No, That's... he's like, no, his family kind of took me in because I've been on my own since I was 16. Oh, okay. And his family would take me in for holidays and stuff because I came out then and my dad kicked me out and then I haven't been back home since. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. We've moved on therapy. But it's like a really sweet relationship and there's just like a lot of love there and we yeah. check in with each other and I met his fiance. We had dinner last time I was in Boston, but really they're healthy. made for each other. That's it's really cute. healthy. Yeah. I feel like once I have an ex, like they're dead to me. Oh, I love so hard though that it's like I, I know I shouldn't be like that, yeah. but it's, it's easier okay. for me to like have that wall up than to like Yeah. But it that's was probably also college though, so it's like there's a reason why I'm not in a relationship with you. Yeah. He was a very golden retriever. I mean that in the best way. Yeah. yeah. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, but also You love like, dogs. But <laughs> <laughs> Yes. But you're either a golden retriever or you're a husky. You're either like go with the flow, chill, don't ever leave your hometown, like happy with like what's in front of you, oh. or you're a husky and you're like roam free and like fun and like wild and like adventures. And I guess I always attract golden retrievers. Well, um, what what type of dog do you think I am? Hmm. I feel like you're um what's that dog with like the really nice hair that like it's like long and has like a skinny nose but it's like you've seen that you've seen the tiktok where it like turns around and, and it's it has like, like a dog but it has like, that, that would be you okay and i mean that in like the best way possible just like gl- gorgeous and glamorous yes. or like a shibu inu oh i'll take that yeah i love a shibu they got an attitude yeah you give me like dachshund oh <laughs> okay <laughs> big wiener <laughs> No, I, I would I would definitely be a husky. I think. No, I actually think you're definitely a husky. Thank you. You're definitely a husky. I was gonna say Chihuahua as a joke, but I was like, I don't think you'd take that. Very I am well. above six two, <laughs> and that's rare. How tall are you? Six feet? I'm five, five ten. Five, five you say you're five, six one. feet. Oh, five. <laughs> five one guys. Oh my God. Yeah. No, online I was expecting like it could be you could be short or tall. No, that's what I'm like I'm like very like middle height. Like medium height. height, though. The guys lie in LA, though. I went on a date with a guy who said he was five ten. He was definitely five six or seven. Like, why do you lie on a date? We're gonna profile? know. Yeah, like and not. The, I don't care. Maybe I like. They hope you like show up and you're like, oh, I don't care that much. But yeah, why but just lie? like I'm not. That's not. I'm not at the point where I'm like I've ever judged on height or like looks like that. Well, I feel like. Well, I mean, that's like, also, like, physical physical compatibility, like, as a gay person, like, I like someone my height. Yeah. That's, like, my type. Like, to see eye to eye. My, like, best friend, he's 6'4". He's, like, giant. Yeah. I've never been attracted to him once because I'm, like, no, it's too like, much. You're too much. I don't want to climb anything either. No. That seems like a lot. I'm, like, I don't. You got However, your own... an occasional 6'4 Australian might catch my eye. Okay. Yeah. An Aussie. An Aussie. <laughs> can you do an Australian accent? I can do an Australian accent, but I'll have to like go. I can just like, it's like seamless. So I'll go into a coffee shop and I'll just like start using an accent. And then I switch back into an American accent. They're like, wait, you need to be an actor because this is crazy. I am, but it just didn't work <laughs> out. No, we're going to get you on Days of Our Lives. Sometimes I'll do it in like a drive through And this girl once when I was at Starbucks and she's like, oh, where are you from? And I'm like, I like, I cannot think that quickly. And I'm like, if I'm from, from the Outback, like you don't say you're from the Outback. You're from like Melbourne or like Sydney. Wow. You're really good at it. Thank you. I'm an Australian friend and like, I cannot get it. I cannot get it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a talent. I like Some British people. accents. I love a British accent. I would do mine, but now I'm nervous. No, do it. I'm going to do it together so you don't hear either of us. <laughs> I'm scared. Laura's laughing at us. <laughs> Come on, do it. I can't do it. Like, it's just not she's, for no, me. No, she's doing it. She's like doing Adele. Adele, yeah. Where are you from? My house. I'm from <laughs> from Chelsea. I don't know what you're I saying. love that. I'm from Surrey. I'm from Surrey. I do more of it like a Kate Winslet. Oh, yeah. See, I don't know. I think I, holiday. I'm giving like Geordie Shore. No, it's good. Like, yeah, you're Geordie Shore. I've like. Like, Where are they from? I should I should have kept me move shut. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, is right. <laughs> that is good. No, I used to be oh God, obsessed I'm doing with like German now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where did you go? It's with that? because I'm talking to a guy in Germany, and I'm gonna go to Oktoberfest when I'm in Italy. Oh, that's so fun. And I'm like, do I need to have like an, a German accent? I think if yeah. you had one, he I'm like <laughs> what the. F- I also think he's American, <laughs> but he lives in Berlin. Oh, are you gonna go yeah. to Bergheim? I don't know what that is. That's like the craziest club in Berlin. Like a sex club? 
I think there's like rooms, but oh. it's like multiple floors in a warehouse. My friend literally FaceTimed me this morning. He's there. He just went. And he did. I'll go. He did some a substance. He was he, in the dark room. I, he likes that kind of stuff. I don't want to be in a harness or constrained or constricted or blindfolded. I need to see. Well, what's you don't have me. to do that. I know. But I feel but like I'm it's just... like dancing and like there's like. <laughs> yeah. I think there's like red rooms. I went like... to a dark club in downtown LA, a warehouse party. I went in and they opened the warehouse door and it was like a whoosh of like hot air, a sea of men wearing jock straps and harnesses. And I was essentially, I looked like Woody from Toy Story, kind of like I'm giving what, but I had like a leather vest on, not like a sexual one, just like a normal, like nice, gorgeous vest. I believe you. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was giving and I, it was scary, but there was, was a like maze. A, it there was, was a, a dark room. There was a dark room and it was a maze and there were men in like swings, like getting and oh. stuff. Was it a circuit party? Yes, that's what it is. Oh, okay. I'd never been to one. I had no idea. I've been to a circuit party. Not like one like crazy one. It's called Oster, Osterban or something. It's like one uh, once um, once every three months. Or Austin House. I don't know. Something like that. Something German. Something like wow. Maybe, yeah. Oh, one time when I was here before like the TikTok, I went, I met, I came to visit my friend and I met her neighbor who was like this like 50 year old gay man uh -huh. at the dog park because she had just got a dog yeah and he was like what are you doing tonight do you want to come to this party and then i was like yeah and i was literally his arm candy for the night and then <laughs> i was literally his arm candy for the night and he took me to a circuit party and it was so insane he knew everyone there he knew every oh single person God. there and he's like yeah i used to work in the scene i used to like you know i'm like what that's, that's a nightmare it was <laughs> kind of so fun well he kept buying me drinks you, you were living i was it, like though. so drunk yeah. and i was having so much fun that was your daddy and then <laughs> i lost my shirt <laughs> right i lost it my was shirt that kind of party got it and then it was a circuit party and then i decided oh my god i <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were pulling out poppers right now. No, I decided it's my time to go. Send yourself home. And then I looked at the Uber yeah. and it was like $130. So I was like, okay, Mike, it's our time to go. And I made yeah. him call the car. <laughs> That's crazy. It was really crazy. It was an experience. I had an experience like that when I first moved to LA. I went to this party. A friend invited me who he, I guess his, his boss is this very – or previously was a very famous director and he would have these insane parties at his beach house in Malibu. And he's like, come, it's going to be so fun. You can meet like a bunch of people. And I was like first week in LA, like fresh. I had just driven here and I go and it's like an insane sex party and there's Coke everywhere and drugs and like naked, like model. It was wild. And the yeah. guy's like 50 years old. He's done like massive blockbuster movies. That's wild. Crazy. I like bounced out. It was too much. I just feel like they get so intense. Like, yeah. I mean, people, there's like gay people are crazy. Gay people are crazy. I also yeah. think like cruising is <sighs> too much for me. I had an idea for a series called Cruise Control. It's so good. Wait a minute. I know. Well, and then so, Tom Cruise can host. Well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> actually, sorry, Cruise is co-hosting me. Um, so initially, I was supposed to have a podcast that I came up with this whole like produced idea, and my agent was shopping it out, and it was called Camp. And the setting was so similar to yours that when I so saw funny. your marketing come out. And I'm like, I cannot copy this idea that now because there was a tent in it, a little fire. And we would like fake roast s'mores and we would just talk about anything camp yeah. and like pop culture. So that had like a different, like it was a Definitely play on different, words. Yeah. yeah but like, but it was so like funny. very outdoorsy. I'm like, this bitch took, <laughs> stole my idea. Not that it's an original concept for me, but I had this other idea called cruise control where we get in a car kind of like that. What's that? That, with like like James what Corden, is it? James Corden, but like not annoying, because uh, like TikTok hates James Corden. Like everybody, hates I know him. everyone like, hates him. I think he's just like a little corny. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah. So I would set up the cameras in my car, and we would go and get like your favorite fast food, and just like drive around town and like talk about stuff, and then also like low key go cruising for guys. That's and cat call guys, but just like in like a like embarrassing shy boy kind of way. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I just think it's so crazy. Like gay culture has evolved so much. Yeah, because like, what is it? Fifty years ago, like forty years ago, mm -hmm. they or like well, actually, like forty years ago, like you couldn't even really be like gay publicly. Yeah, it was illegal. Yeah, and you had to. Like, guys would wear handkerchiefs, the hanky coat. Oh my god! Somebody said this the other yeah, night to like say what you were into. Like, so when you went out, you would, like, know exactly what they were into and you guys could, like, link up. Yeah, that's, I have to be aware of that. I was wearing a yellow hanky the other day and I was on my story. Do you know Gigi Good? 
I know exa- I know yeah. what a yellow hanky. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't <laughs> because I just like it's a beautiful muted canary yellow. <laughs> like yeah. it's distressed. Uh she responded to my story and she's like, "So, just so you like just to let you know, that means you like piss play." And I'm like, "Can I yeah. have nothing?" <laughs> That's so wild. We've retired the yellow one. I don't know what this means. But I, don't I don't know. Think it, I think we have muted colors, so I don't think those ones are on. Like this, it's like gray and a light gray and clay. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what says gay and afraid? Gay and afraid. So that is so yeah. cute. It just looks so perfect. If it yeah. needs to be part of the set now, we can tie it around something. Yeah. Well, I just want to say before we move on, I just want to say like I feel like your like openness with the internet and your relationship has like probably opened a lot of doors for people for even me to be like so openly gay on the internet is probably Thank like you because like i saw people who were openly gay before me you know what i mean See, i didn't i never i don't know the camera was just kind of like always on in our relationship not on my part on my exes but it was so positive and it was yeah. so great and that's all i ever want the takeaway from our relationship to be on the internet like i want i have so many like teen boys that'll come up like in the street or just like now like eight 17 year old 18 year olds when they were now they're grown up but they'll be like i watched you all the time like you gave me like so much self-confidence to like realize like you can have a queer relationship and it can there can be like it can be positive and it can be great and um there can be a happy ending because so many i feel like there's just so much cattiness in the queer community and there aren't a lot of representations of like positive queer role models that are like kind of just like being authentically themselves and, and yeah, it's it's really. Nice. I mean, it's really cool. And like, I just think that like a bon- like a, a bunch of people who don't have, they don't get positive feedback on their queerness. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Well, they probably saw like that you found a community that really supported you, and like there were thousands yeah. of comments and thousands of hundreds of thousands of likes on like videos yeah. of you guys just hanging out and like yeah, doing just stuff. being ourselves. Yeah, and, like, of course we had like a you know a company together and did so many amazing projects over the years, but like what I appreciate most is um, being not, I don't consider myself a role model, but just being like uh, somebody that I didn't have growing Growing up. up. Yeah. I didn't look up to a lot of queer people because it was like, it was just scary. And it was like, I went to Christian school my first eight years and I was told like, you're going to hell because you're, you know, if you're gay, you're going to hell. I'm like, okay, stay. (laughs) Well, if all gay people go to hell, it's fun down there. Honestly, it's Lil a Nas, circuit party. We're going. <laughs> Once I saw that, I'm like, okay, I'm fine. If, if all gay people go to hell, like there, it's beautiful. That's like, a good title you know for what something. I mean? All yeah. gay people go to hell. Yeah, like all, all g- dogs go to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if I go to hell, like I just feel like if I go to hell, I think all my friends will be there too. Like, that's yeah, like, we'll find each other. I we mean, can hang can out down much there. Much worse than Earth right now. So no, yeah, that's okay. fine. The planet's already on fire. Yeah, just, let's take it underground. <laughs> it's global boiling. <laughs> <laughs> you want to like yeah. finish your book? Yep. Finish your book. Adapt it into a movie. Yeah. Star is the main lead. <laughs> no, produce, thankfully, like I don't direct. need to be the star of things, but I would like to produce. I feel like I'll know. be in it in a, a little bit, but I think like it would it would feel so much better to just like have a story out there that's real because it's like seventy percent fact and a little bit of I call it like glitter. It's yeah. Like a little fabulosity that's like whimsical and fun and. Well, that's like a, I think the point of a lot of writing is yeah. to like take it to a new place. Yeah. So like that that's cool. Yeah, it's like do you ever have a project that you feel so compelled about like you design and I I love yeah. I love your story when you were talking about like oh, I design all this stuff and it's such a passion project of mine. Mm-hmm. I feel like when you do things you're truly passionate about, they always turn out the best and they're always yeah. received the best. Yeah. And you'll have so much time cuz you were in Italy to like finish writing. Yeah. So that's going to be... I know. I can't wait to have an Italian lover. I do have one there, but he kind of has a boyfriend right now. We'll, we'll see. Well, that doesn't mean anything when you're yeah. gay. Yeah. That's not, <laughs> you, know, you know, yeah, you can still still hang out. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends. We're friends. Yeah. Can we ever expect to see a season five of Escape the Night? You know, I would love to do a season five. There was a lot of interest from the network and the Ooh. fans. Like on TikTok, it st- still goes viral, like little clips, like kids have birthday parties based on it. Um, I think it would have to be like a different concept. But um, there's been a few things that I've been working on with my um, creative partner and um there should be something. Okay, I guess you just cool. have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. Yeah. Okay, could be cool. coming, you know. That would be so exciting. Yeah. Um, my next question is, do you want kids? You give dad. Not like you I'm give... daddy and mommy, I think. Like I'm like right in the middle. 
Yeah. Like I'm very nurturing, but also like I I would love to have kids one day. I think if it's meant to be, I don't have like I feel like a lot of people like either really really want them or really don't. I'm like if it works out, it works out. Yeah. It'd be great. I'm like, where am I, where am I gonna get one? I know. Where can you buy one? Yeah, Amazon. <laughs> like, I feel like Am- you'll be able to buy kids on Amazon. Okay, I years. said that one time in a TikTok, and everyone got so mad at me. Why? It's they literally didn't. They, <laughs> didn't you see that article the other day? They like, like created like an entity. Like scientists have created like an embryo. They they didn't say what oh. it is. They just said it's an entity, and it's like a, a thing. I'm like, obviously you can grow babies in a lab. Like I feel like you can have it dropped off to you like a stork. Oh, really? in the future, that would be so insane. I wanted. I don't want children. I want an entity. <laughs> Yeah. that's I scary like, i want a test tube baby yeah yeah there i have a friend who's a test tube baby and he's always been a little weird what is that you're like a, <laughs> they're like not conceived oh, like, normally it's oh like okay kind of create they take what the egg think? and then the and yeah oh yeah. oh like uh they like put in a smoothie well, i don't think that makes him no, 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 like, uh, <laughs> okay and the last question is what's your cap how many dogs will you have i'm done with two you're done with two yeah i'm done with two because two is great i have one that's eight and i have one that's two so it's Mm -hmm. like a good juxtaposition of energy in the house okay yeah well i mean that's good yeah we're 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 capped yeah i like i i imagine you with like one day a giant yard full of like hundreds of dogs that you just like take care of. I mean, I'd love that. I worked, I worked with a rescue during COVID and yeah. I, I used social media to like find the puppies homes and it was great. I'd love to have a farm one day in Montana and like yeah. have like a little cute shop in town, but then also have like a condo in LA and kind of what is that show um, with the family who loses all their money? Shit's Creek. Shits I was Creek. just, I, I knew Literally you were going to say that. I knew you were going to, like, we were connecting. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of give Shit's Creek. Thank you. You're uh, both Dan Levy is so handsome. <laughs> I, he is. He is. I he's matched cute. with him on an app. Like, I think he's in a relationship now, but I'm like, damn. Well, I he's married out. on the show. Oh, so, but no. in real life, he's not <laughs> married. <laughs> no, he's cute. Yeah. I don't really have a type, but I think he's, I love funny and yeah. witty. Um, I don't have, like, a height requirement, but as long as you can make me laugh and take a joke. And have like a sense of adventure. I'm That's down. cute. Yeah. Okay. If you're watching and you're interested, no, don't hit me up. <laughs> don't get in the DMs. My audience is 75% female, and I'm keeping it that way. No, that's how mine is. Yeah, I, I like, like it. This is really good. They they're great. I don't want the gay following. No, I do. I love the gays. We love the gays. But sometimes it can be too much. This just in, Daniel is homophobic. homophobic. <laughs> Period. I think we're all a little homophobic. Well, just just on yeah. the weekend. <laughs> just on a holiday and major bank holidays. I love the wig. <laughs> mine is giving very woman. See, yeah, you have like yeah. the good bangs. Thank like you. mine doesn't. <laughs> it's very Nikki. Is this the thing that I get, get from putting your bitches, bitches on? on? Is it my fault? <laughs> Am I a Nikki fan? <laughs> Pull up in that Sri Lanka. What? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Do I get a gavel or just you? Oh, we can switch. We can oh, swap okay. Well, there's only one gavel. Okay. Because I'll have to be the judge. Now we're moving on to our next segment, which is called I'll Be the Judge. Okay. Yes. And we're going to take some Instagram submitted quotes. Oh, my God. And decide whether they are innocent or guilty. Okay. I can't wait. And the rating system is really broken because I, innocent and guilty doesn't make any sense. But. Right. Am I guilty when I've cut off old friends for being consistently late because it sends me into a blind rage? You're innocent, girl. Well, you're actually, in- I'm no, late you're guilty. The- what? You're guilty, girl. A real friendship, you speak up and be like, hey, this really bugs me that you're late all the time. Can we work on this? I don't think you just cut somebody off. You need to be more vocal, sis. I, I'm like also a late friend sometimes. I'm, I was literally late here today. <laughs> you're late 10 minutes. But also, you, you guys pushed gifts. me back from this morning. So you know what? You're guilty. It was my guilty. Fault. It was, well, <laughs> yes. Okay. I was an hour late today. Oh, you were late too? But only because- You I were in glam. Mm, <laughs> no, it's because our we originally, the our first guest got moved back and then she showed up on time. Oh, and I was right. like on my way for the late time. So I was like, oh. That's so. okay. They can But leave. no, I think that you should, like, I think if you want to cut off a friend- Cut, cut them off. off. Life is way too you short. You are not guilty. No, you're not guilty. Like, is it just the late thing? No, I think I feel more. like there's more. That uh, there's more. It. Pound that gavel. <laughs> so guilty? Guilty as charged. Oh, wait, no, you're innocent. I'll say oh, wait, innocent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she's in it. Innocent. Bailiff. Okay. Here, you can you can take the next one. Cutting off a best friend who self-sabotaged every relationship she was in. Guilty or not guilty? Girl, mm. that's your best friend. <laughs> Sabot- she's, she cut her off for, for sabotaging herself? 
That's not your bitch. She's not even doing anything to you. She's just mentally unwell. <laughs> it's not her fault. No, I feel like, like once again, cut off whoever you want to cut off. Yeah. Like, babe, you know if you don't like okay, her. Let me say it. Life is way too short to have people in your life who don't make you feel good. If you leave a situation and you feel he like relieved from being in their presence, you got to cut it off. Yeah. So I, th <laughs> I think you're innocent, girl. Yeah, you're innocent. If you're, have you cut off friends before? Uh, yeah, I just cut somebody off. Me. But I've known. I'm <laughs> yeah. <the> show. <laughs> but <laughs> I just cut somebody off today at the studio, at this podcast studio. <laughs> no, but yeah. But going. I don't really cut people off because I like, I don't really, like, I don't let people in unless I really f with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm well, that's ride so or fair. die in a way. Yeah. Like, I will, uh, you're, I'm either going to, like, help you bury the body or we're not really friends. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? I feel like I, I, like, cut off people, but only, like, it's really hard for me to let someone in that deep. And then yeah. if you're in that deep end, you, like, consistently make me feel bad, then I have yeah. no choice. I just want to feel good around people yeah. at all times. That's all your friends should do. They yeah, should at least exactly. Make you feel good. This is really weird. I am my old situationships, new situationships closest friend she has no idea next question <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what this means so like put it into gay terms so like they used to like so the person that they used to hook up with okay like their their new situationship their new hookup is the uh, the first person's best friend Oh, you're innocent. What? How you're are you innocent. guilty? Yeah, you're innocent. Girl, you're Why a victim. Why are you even asking this question? <laughs> Girl, you're a victim. <laughs> <laughs> you are a victim. <laughs> it's not your fault. That's a really hard situation. Innocent girl. Innocent. Am I the asshole for making fun of my newborn baby niece? Girl, she got wrinkles. <laughs> innocent. <laughs> not all babies are cute. Well, Botox is. Yeah. yeah. Girl, a she got wrinkles. Yeah. Restylane. Restylane. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Welcome. She's, you know what? No. What was that? <laughs> She's innocent. She's innocent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if you want to make fun of a baby, they don't even know. Am I the asshole for being pissed off slash upset that my friends are copying everything I do? Guilty or not guilty? This is a good one. I feel like, well, it, that's the price you pay for being an influential person that's right i think some people are so unoriginal and unfunny that they need to steal your personality or your vibe or your aesthetic because they're just not creative so honestly yeah. i would be pissed off though i would be pissed i would be if it was a good friend like showing up in like clothes i i wanted to wear or like things they knew i like wanted yeah but you also sound crazy you're like why are you wearing that i wear right. that yeah <laughs> you know? i like it's a crazy sometimes i say that i'm like just say that you're stealing my Style and copying everything I do. Well, like things like you must not like that friend because if my best friend was doing something I was doing, I'd be like, "Girl, let's do it together." But it's also very flattering. The imitation is the highest form. form of flattering. High, but form it's annoying. Like I bought. Are you mad at me because I bought a bob on Amazon? No, I'm excited for you. I'm so excited, and I'm like, bringing it to Italy with me. You needed to get a top. You need that the Taylor glasses. Swift. Yeah, that Taylor Swift rhinestone top hat. I sold that. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> I think you're innocent. You're innocent. Girl, also cut them off. Hear that? <laughs> you don't like your friends. Kill them. Okay, you <laughs> are really arguing Miranda. <laughs> I think innocent too. Like, I feel yeah. like if you, you just don't like them. Yeah, I don't think you like them. And also, they're not a good friend. I, innocent. You're innocent. Innocent, they're guilty. Am I guilty if I don't want my BF's dog to sleep with me? Oh, we've got an animal it's... hater. No, yeah. They basically, okay. Am I guilty if I don't want my boyfriend's dog to sleep in the bed with us because he's too much and he smells? <gasps> Girl, you're well, innocent. You're also innocent. However, uh, since I'm a dog person, what pisses me off to like, like no other is when I'm walking the dogs and they're just right next to me and people like jump away when the dog's walking by them. I'm like, this is golden retriever's not going to attack you, babe. Relax. Some dogs are crazy though. Some dogs are crazy. Mine get groomed twice a month. They're very I know your dogs are spoiled. Oh, they're stunning. I know your dogs live a yeah. better life than me. They do. I they they probably like more lavish. Yeah. Nicer bed. Nicer apartment. More money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just moved, right? Um, no. No. Okay. I'm no, I can't afford it. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Not your dog. That's what you get for living in New York, babe. <laughs> no, I actually I just signed my lease again and they raised oh, my rent. Oh. I love that. Yeah, but I can't. Moving sucks. Yeah, moving is the worst. You're innocent. I think that you're innocent and that 
the dog does not need to be in the bed. No. I grew up in a dog not allowed on the furniture kind of household. Oh, okay. Not allowed on the sofa, not allowed on the bed. Yeah, my husky sleeps under the bed. See, that's cute. Yeah, it's cute. And then my golden will sleep at the foot, but curled in a little section. I, I don't let her come up in my face because I don't like that. I think in between two people. It's or like too much. Up near the pillows. No, that's the worst. Yeah. I'm like, over the comforter, that's fine. Yeah. Anywhere beyond sheet territory yeah. is a little see yeah. if i dog slept on the bed i'd kick it because i'm my boyfriend abuser. my boyfriend gets mad at me we'll be sleeping in bed and i'll wake up and i'm in a 45 degree angle with all the covers yeah and he's like i hate you yeah <laughs> i run really really hot so i do the opposite i like kick off all the covers oh really yeah i'm like a furnace well i'm like i i get hot too but then i put the <laughs> the ac at 62 uh <laughs> 62 i sleep at 68 and i'm like oh my god i love this no it's only 65 wow and girl i racked up that no wonder you can't summer. afford your rent <laughs> <laughs> who said that <laughs> oh my god sorry i didn't mean that i'm just a poor <laughs> gay i'm just a poor gay go fund me link <laughs> coming soon only fans i think that's that's too much like yeah. i'm just not like a also if like there's two people in the bed and the dog that's crazy no it's too much yeah you're innocent girl innocent well thank you so much for being here we talked thank for you. so long i know i really hope it was good though like it's not like i'm lagging on for the whole time i honestly don't remember a single thing we talked about me either i'm like but kind of like a goldfish sometimes like it just i connect and i have a conversation then it's ooh. yeah i'll come back tomorrow okay <laughs> just do it do it over again part two <laughs> no this was really fun thank you for having me oh my god no thank you for being here it was great i had so much fun this is our me first too. time meeting i know it did not feel like it at all no so that's a good I'm sign excited. friendship yeah no yay <laughs> i wrote a little card and it said um looking forward to like cultivating a a, a potential friendship and i did in parentheses maybe okay <laughs> just in case because you never know you never know <laughs> we'll still see <laughs> well if you would like to let the audience know where they can find you you can find me uh just on the internet at mr prada across all social media networks except twitter slash x because i deactivated my account well thank you guys so much for joining me on another iconic episode of gay and afraid thank you so much to my guest daniel you can find me on instagram tiktok and youtube at rico taquito and if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can't. It doesn't exist anymore. Thank you so much, campers. Please follow, rate, and review Gay and Afraid wherever you get your podcast, And subscribe to the Past Your Bedtime channel on YouTube for full video episodes. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye, campers. I love you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.